I'm Lil Red and thanks for clicking on this video. The other day, Jane and I were listening to Eminem's song, Lose Yourself. And if you recall that song at all, he sings about mom's spaghetti. And that got me wondering if there was a recipe for Eminem's mom's spaghetti online. And guess what? There is. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We are going to be making Eminem's mom's spaghetti to see if it's good or not. I'll let you know. So without further ado, let me go and get all of the ingredients so we can get started. All right, so I think I have everything I need to make the recipe. Just so you know, I'm going to link it down below, so if you wanna give it a try, you can. But I would like you to know that I am going to be not following the instructions perfectly. Part of it is making actual meatballs, and I don't touch raw meat. So we're just gonna kind of mix it in with the sauce and call it a day. But I figure that'll give me a good sense of whether or not Eminem's mom spaghetti is actually good. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get the water going so I can get the noodles a cook in. Just so you know, the recipe calls for one pound of spaghetti. However, I'm going to cut that back a little bit because I'm just feeding me and Dane and we don't need that much spaghetti. I don't know how much I'm gonna use, but I'm not gonna use the whole pack. I'm gonna wait for the water to heat up, but in the meantime, I can start cooking my ground meat and I'm just gonna do that on the stove again and then like incorporate all of the different things into it to cook it and then I'll add the sauce to it. I think that sounds like a good plan. We'll see. All right, so the recipe says that you should have one pound of ground beef, which I have, and you'll make 16 spaghetti meatballs. And you're supposed to mix in the breadcrumbs with parsley Parmesan, egg, garlic, salt, pepper flakes into a bowl and then form them. I'm not doing that. We're just gonna put them all into one thing. And then it goes on to say, put a tablespoon of oil in there. Where do you put the garlic? Oh, the garlic goes in there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh man, I have to dice an onion. So we're just gonna put it all into the pan and call it a day and see how that goes. I also really don't like measuring, so it's really kind of like an inspiration of Eminem's mom's spaghetti recipe. I'm just taking from it and building upon it. Some of y'all might say, I'm not really testing Eminem's mom's spaghetti, but I don't care. I think instead of just putting raw garlic in there, I'm gonna like brown the garlic a little bit and then put the meat on top of it along with all the other things. I should probably chop parsley first. Does I have to have a fourth of a cup? The parsley, that just seems silly. That seems like a lot. So this is finely chopped parsley. This seems like it'll do a good job, right? Mm. Oh, I don't like that smell. So we're gonna move on to actually cooking the meat and roasting, it's not roasting, browning the garlic. All right, so the garlic is roasting in my pan. It is looking quite good and tasty. And then my water is almost to a boil, which means I can almost put in my noodles. I should probably actually get a measuring cup for this because I don't want to overdo it. It's definitely not a fourth of a cup parsley, but actually, maybe it is. And then a fourth of a cup of Parmesan. A little extra cheese never hurt anyone, right? All right, I think that is about correct. And then what else do I need? I got the garlic, salt, and pepper flakes. It says an egg, but that just seems weird to put into like just ground beef. Oh, oh, breadcrumbs. This is a third of a cup of breadcrumbs. This might be a little strange since this is supposed to be meatballs, but it should all be good. They're all good things except for the parsley. Looks like we're off to a good start, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, I'm going in with my salt and red chili flakes. Not measuring them. We're just going to go for it, right? Mm. 
I think the noodles are ready, so I'm gonna strain them, and then I think the meat is almost ready, so then I can start working on the actual sauce portion of it. And I'm really just gonna mix them all together. Hope it works. The meat is sufficiently browned. I am going to go add the bay leaf, the tomato sauce, and some other maybe seasonings. We'll see how, how fancy I'm feeling. So here is my concoction I have made. It has the tomato puree in it. I have the two bay leaves on top. I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. I'm assuming they're supposed to get mixed in, but I'm not 100% sure. So I thought I would just go for it and hope that this is correct. I think you're actually supposed to take out bay leaves after they've simmered for a little bit. So we'll just leave them for a little while and see how it goes. So far I wouldn't say it's bad, but I wouldn't say it's great. I'm just gonna be honest right now. I always thought spaghetti was a simple meal. I don't think it is anymore. That has become so much better in the last like three minutes. So this is how it's looking. I put in a little bit more of Parmesan to make it a little creamier. I am not left-handed, so this is extremely hard for me. <laughs> Let's try it with my right hand, actually. But overall, I think it's looking pretty good. Like, it looks like a pretty good, hearty, meaty sauce. So let's just hope it's actually good. So it's just gonna sit here for a little bit longer to kind of stew and congeal. I wouldn't say it's like the best tasting spaghetti already, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. Let me put together a plate so that way you can see the finished product all together. So here is my little plate of spaghetti, and you might say, wow, that's a lot of cheese, Jessica. But you know what? I like cheese, and I am not ashamed of it. But overall, it looks like a fine dish of spaghetti. So let's go ahead and give it a try. You know what? That ain't half bad. Ooh, and it has a nice little kick to it. Thank you, Eminem's Mom Spaghetti for inspiring this recipe. I don't know how I did it, but I will try to put my recipe down in the description below. If you have been inspired to create Eminem's Mom Spaghetti, or if you find other songs that have food in it, I could possibly search for it and see if there is a recipe for it. So let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more food videos or any other thing really, just let me know and I'll give it a try. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and an absolute fabulous day. Bye.